doing? Woo, I just figured I'll pop in. I'm out here today running errands. Uh, it's supposed to be really nice today. Right now it's kind of gloomy. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's supposed to be like in the 70s today. And so definitely looking forward to that. So uh, yeah, me and the man, we're out, like I said, running errands um, on my way to Westchester. So I figured, you know, maybe if you're bored, you just want to come along with me. I hope everybody's doing well today. Hey y'all, I have it up on my <clears throat> dashboard. Uh, which is actually not the best place to have your go. I'm getting my mask. And I know you're saying, why are you putting your mask on and you're in the car? I'm putting it on. Excuse my hand, y'all. Yeah, I'm wearing my mask now only because. I told you all that um, I'm having some dental work done. I lost my front tooth. And so I'm noticing like in my videos, my, my true personality does not come all the way through because um, I'm not smiling, you know? And so that's a big part of who I am. I'm bubbly, I smile a lot. Let me turn this car because it can sound kind of loud. So yeah, I have like a bubbly type of personality. And um, I just feel like, you know, when I watch my videos, it doesn't come come off. You know, I've, I come off like very stiff and boring. I'm like, who is this person? But anyway, y'all, so I'm up here in um, New Rochelle. I'll take this off for now. So I'm in New Rochelle and um, my significant other, he's at his appointment right now. So that's what I'm just, you know, waiting for him to do that. And then I don't think I have anything else to do today. I actually need to go to New Jersey because um, I need to pick up like some toiletry. I, want, I need to get like the bulk tissue. And at my supermarket, they sell, I think it's like about, I want to say about 12 or 15 pack roll. But it's, they want like... When I last checked, twenty-four dollars. Whereas Sam's Club, I believe you get twenty rolls or thirty-five rolls for twenty dollars. I saw like a brand out there. One of the uh, YouTubers was doing it, so I was like, you know what? Instead of me spending, you know, I could just, you know, get more, you know, for less. So, um, and then also I could go to Walmart, you know, out there as well. So we either, if if I don't, I know I'm not gonna go today because he worked overnight he just got off so we he literally came home this morning didn't even sleep yet and so once we leave here we'll probably just go back home you know so he can rest up and then i have some um videos i need to edit y'all i have videos from last year content that i recorded both for my cooking channel as well for my for this channel and so you may be getting, um, I know you're going to be getting like some content that you're going to be like, wait a minute, it's going to be like a little, you know, um, outdated, but nevertheless, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and release it. And so that's why I have not been consistent on this channel. And then also I wanted to really see which direction I wanted to go 
um with this particular channel um if i want to do like a lifestyle if i wanted to be like you know weekly vlog or if i just i just vlog just you know post whenever because managing one channel is like you know pretty um it could be pretty stressful and then you talk about two and so um or maybe i'm thinking about just combining you know the channel have it like a cooking slash vlogging channel and then you could just you know based on the title and the context of the um the video you could decide if you want to you know click on it or not you know but anyway yeah so um hopefully um he actually just came back out because he needed a document that he didn't have and so he had to come back out he's not tech savvy so i had he had to come back down from his appointment so i can bring up the information and then he went back and you know prayerfully that was enough because we came here last week you know uh for the same appointment you i keep looking at my i have a you can see this holder right here this is for my uh for the phone and then i have you on the dashboard so i keep accidentally looking at this and let me just move this out of your view yeah and i hope the sound is fine because again i'm using my I'm using my vlogging camera, I'm trying to get in the habit of when I come out to bring my camera so I can vlog more. Now the challenge for me, see the car is not an issue, but I don't want to be boring y'all to death having a, a whole conversation sitting in the car for like 15, 20 minutes, but it's weird, and I mentioned this before, it's weird going into the stores, you know, with your camera vlogging, because people are first looking at you like, what in the world is this lady doing holding up a camera? talking to a camera basically and my arm is out here on my you know on my tripod so i try to you know get into the stores so i may just you know um the next time i do this, the next time i go shopping and then the last time i think i went to walmart and when i tried to vlog in there the music was so loud so you couldn't hear what i was saying anyway so i have to end up adding my own um music voiceover because i'm not trying to get copywritten so uh even though i'm not I, I don't get paid on my channel yet however i don't want um any strikes against me so it's really hard to do it in the stores so i'm gonna I'm a sneak and do like little clips here and there when i do go into you know to the stores so but uh, what do i have go oh how was your easter this is coffee I'm drinking. This is actually the old man's coffee. I had my coffee already, but I'm sitting here bored and it's here, so I'm like, hey, why not? But um, how was your holiday? How was your Easter? Did you go away? Did you have family come over? Did you cook an Easter dinner? You know, like comment below on what you did. Um, me, it was um, first of all, I didn't even realize it was Easter. I don't really celebrate Easter or Happy Resurrection. You know, to you, um, if you celebrate. If you don't do Easter, but you celebrate Resurrection, you know, either one. And uh, so I don't do it, but uh, it was quiet, you know. Um, the old man, he had to work. And so I just, I chilled. I think I did, I recorded like one video, um, but I didn't edit it that day. So it was kind of like a laid back, you know, Sunday. Watched the movie, I believe, and... Um, yeah it was quiet i'm looking behind me because i'm actually in a what is this a no parking zone it's supposed to be for like truck upload but there's no trucks pulling up yet yet so that's why i'm just chilling here making sure but y'all i used to um let me see if i can show y'all this area i used to work up here like years ago let me turn this around okay yeah yeah so this is the area of um Neuro Shell. I used to work up in here. I work back in. I think I left in 2018, and that build. If you see like directly in front of me, not the building right here with this um pointy steeple, but the one right across the street, that big building underneath there. Now I'm not sure if the. Oh, I think it still is there because I see the sign. But that's Monte Fiori Hospital up in um Neuro Shell, and so I used to come there go there every week i think it was every thursday and i would go into the um the uh maternity ward if you will a waiting area and i would put conduct presentations on um 39 weeks to a healthy baby 
And so my back, some of my, a lot of my backgrounds in public health and, you know, doing a lot of outreach to the community and stuff. And I did that for years. And this was, um, I worked in up here in Westchester and this was one of, New Rochelle was one of my locations as well as White Plains and Mount Vernon. And so I did that up here for about, I want to say about seven, about seven to eight years. And then it just, um, you know, just got tiring, you know, I had to, you know, be out in the, um, I mean, working, doing field work, it has this, you know, advantages. Let me turn y'all back around. Okay, hey guys. You know, I'm still, like I said, trying to figure this, this vlogging camera out. So, yeah, um, it has its advantages, you know, being in the field. Um, yeah, it has its advantages because you're not stuck in the office all day. However... Um, I would have to lug like all these, you know, pamphlets and this big, like, why am I sitting there with a seatbelt on? I had to carry like this huge work bag and it had like all these pamphlets in it. And, you know, after a while it's tiring and then the summertime, like the spring was like really great. You know, the weather is nice. You don't have the sun beaming down on you all hot and it's not humid. But Hunte, when the summertime will come, woo, you carrying a bunch of bags excuse me um you out in the, com the community after a while it takes its toll on you i used to be drained and then we would do like a lot of uh what you call table events you know when we do health fairs and street fairs block parties and i remember once one summer my colleague and i my old colleague and i and we still keep in contact you know we're friends we did one summer it was a total of 376 events for the summer tabling events and i'm talking about we didn't have like a team you know uh that would come out and set up the tables and tents and stuff for us. Mm -mm, we had to do all this stuff by ourselves carry tables pamphlets table remember the tablecloth you had to remember the um the the, the uh, table settings like plexiglass to have your pamphlets go in then you had to have incentives you know for the community when they come up to the table you know, you give them like a little incentive and stuff. I mean, it was a lot Then we had to break down, you know, pack up, drive that stuff back to the office. I mean, I did this stuff for years. And when I tell you it took a toll on my body, so I was just like, mm-mm. But it was a very, um, you know, I'm thankful, you know, for the experience. And um, it definitely wasn't about to pay because um, when you're working with not-for-profit, uh, you know, let's just, it is what it is. You're not gonna be rich. But it was rewarding in the sense that I was able to get back to the community. And then I also learned a lot of tools that to today, you know, I applied to my life. So, you know, sometimes the benefit is not all. And then I've met some really amazing, um, you know, women that I, um, again, that we still have a friendship, you know, today. And so, um, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of memories, a lot of memories. And uh, I do not miss it at all. I, I don't, you know. But um, anyway, so yeah, so now I'm on the, uh, you know, next chapter of my life. And that's just basically rediscovering life. Um, a lot of things that I was, you know, taught and, um, you know, born into, you know, family values, um, you know, uh, religion, um, even uh, politics, you know. A lot of things, again, when you're born into a certain family, a family um, that is already practicing certain things, you kind of automatically take it on. And so it's not until uh, later on, actually a few years back, probably around the time that I left the job, you know, I just started, you know, just questioning things and just looking at life, you know, differently. And, um, you know, I, um, I don't consider myself, you know, religious and that's not against anybody else. You know, you, believe in whatever you believe in as long as you have joy in your heart and you're happy but for me you know i'm a spiritual you know i'm a spiritual person and um you know yeah so i i'm talking to you and i see the old man coming and i don't know this seemed like it was kind of fast he came back kind of fast so um fingers crossed that everything worked out because you're all i'm, I'm tired I'm, I'm, I'm just i'm tired but um yeah, anyway, let me check with him, y'all, and to find out what's going on, and then I'll check back in with y'all.
y'all. So this is the next day from the last time I spoke with you. I think I was up in, yeah, I was in Westchester. Um, the old man had um, his appointment up there, which turned out well. So um, this is the next day. I have um, actually after that appoint that appointment, we went to the dentist because I've been having some work. I'm having some work done, and so um, I have like a tooth that broke. Like a that actually it broke before, just before uh, COVID hit, and so I haven't been back to the dentist since, and it's been like a year. And so now, um, yeah, I've been, you know, going back and forth to the dentist. So today I actually have the, um, surgery to, you know, do the work in my mouth and stuff. So that's going to be, you know, this afternoon. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to pop back in and just, you know, uh, I don't want to leave y'all hanging. So, um, any case, so here I have my laptop because I'm going to be editing, um, my cooking video so if you haven't um checked it out yet um i have a, a channel cooking meals with katrina g where i do some really you know nice little recipes over there simple but um yeah so i'll make sure i link that below make sure y'all show me some love over there but in any case i have some videos that i did uh record already on my cooking channel as well as on this channel my main channel and so yeah i'm going to be you know doing that and then I have my journals here. Um, one of them is like my, my daily, well I write in both of them every day, but this is like my, you know, my journal of my thoughts, my feelings, you know, that type of stuff. And then this is like my business journal. So, um, yeah, everything that I learned, you know, as far as like editing and, you know, overall has to do with my life, you know, I, I put it in here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So um, I just finished working out. So as you can see, I have on, you know, my little workout, you know, outfit, the, um, you know, J Sculpt. So um, I work out right here in the house. So let me show you. I see down on the floor, that's my little workout um, stuff right there. And... Uh, yeah, so um, I think that's pretty much it. So again, after I come from, my appointment's at 1, so I know once I'm done with that, um, I'm going to be pretty much out of it for the rest of the day. But you know what, then again, let me not claim that because I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I'm so grateful to be getting this done, y'all, because, um, you know, thank, thank God it has not been hurting me, but it's more like a... It's, it's there, it's irritating, it's like a burning, you know, type um, feeling, so anyway, so I'm going to be happy to have this done, and then, um, you know, yeah, just moving forward, you know, like I said, and I probably won't vlog in there, you know, dentist's office, so yeah, but um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me, and uh, yeah, so I'll, um, yeah, I will pop back in maybe after the dentist, you know, if I'm feeling up to it, just so y'all can, you know, or I'll just check in with y'all to let y'all know how it went, okay? So, I'll see y'all later. Yeah, my cat is legit knocked out on her back. <clears throat> on my bed. Like, look at this. Are you serious? Wow.